and welcome to Kensington Gardens, one of the eight royal parks. My name's Avni and I'm here today with the lovely Cecilia and we're going to show you some of our highlights in this park. So what do you like about Kensington Gardens? Well, I love Kensington Gardens. I think it's a fantastic family park. I've got loads of fond memories of bringing my young nephews mm. here and they always requested to go to the Diana Memorial oh. Playground. What about you, Cecilia? So for me, it's all about the building architecture and garden designs. I love the Italian gardens. Sitting here with a coffee, I feel like I could be in Italy. Depending on the weather, it is the UK. So there's lots to do for families here in Kensington Gardens. We were just up at the Italian Gardens, which has a lovely small playground just next to it. Or maybe you fancy visiting the iconic Diana Memorial Playground, which has millions of visitors every year. But it's not just about the playgrounds here. There is a very popular statue just behind me. It's actually a statue of Peter Pan. And it's said that J.M. Barry was inspired by Kensington Gardens and a statue was added in 1912. For the art lovers out there, be sure to check out the Serpentine Galleries, which hosts a huge range of exhibits throughout the year. Palace has been the home to many royal residents and families. Its most beloved resident was Princess Diana herself and there's actually a statue dedicated to her just in the back in the sunken gardens. Unlike most royal families nowadays who live in Buckingham Palace or Windsor Castle, Queen Victoria and Prince Albert actually lived here and you can see a fantastic statue of Queen Victoria right here as well. Prince Albert has a memorial set up for him. It's made of bronze and gilded in gold. And if you look really carefully, you can actually see that he's holding the catalogue from the Great Exhibition of 1851. So when you're visiting Kensington Gardens, there's loads of things to look out for in the nature too. Along the long water here, you'll be able to see lots of different types of birds, but it's not just about the birds. Be sure to look out for the nocturnal life too. Dotted around the park, there are a bunch of bat detectors, and there's said to be about seven species of bats living here in Kensington Gardens, which is amazing. So whether you're here to play or explore, there's something for everybody to discover. 